Hello everyone, welcome to Winning Waves YouTube channel and exclusive guidance for competitive exams. So in this particular video, we have brought a few of the other questions from the section called reasoning which are useful for your PY as well as clerical examinations. So this is part number 15. So those who have missed the previous parts, I will be giving link in the description. Kindly watch those videos and come back to this particular part called 15. Okay, so kindly if you like this video, kindly subscribe to our channel and kindly share to your friends maximum so that it creates a lot of encouragement for us to bring new new content. So for previous videos, I'll be leaving cards at right top corner such so that it will be easy for you to trace out what are the previous videos that we have covered. Okay, so let's see what are the topics we have covered in this particular session. So in this particular session, we have brought three different topics which is based on puzzle parameter based then puzzle blood relation based and third one is based on syllogisms okay so without wasting any time let's just dive into the subject okay so question number one based on puzzle parameter based so look at the data seven students mnopqrs are there in a class they live on different floors of a building Flo lowermost is one and topmost is seven they like different fruits apple mango goa banana orange peach, pomegranate and go, uh, mango. They all got different marks 22, 20, uh, 22, 81, 64, 25, 38, 60 and 57. So total we have four parameters in this particular question. Okay. So we have students. This is one parameter. Then second parameter is based on floors. Third parameter is based on fruits and fourth parameter is based on marks okay marks or ranks you can say anything okay so these are the four different parameters which we have got accordingly with respect to the data so let's draw a table so in this particular uh, puzzle we can take fixed parameter as floors so let's take fixed parameter as floors so let me draw seven floors so one two Better if you take from bottom to top, so that it will be easy. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So total we have 7 floors. So other parameter here, you can take as a table. Okay. So here, floors. Then in the second column, we will take as students third parameter we can take it as fruits and fourth parameter we can take it as ranks different different ranks right let's see now look at the data so p lives mm, banana lives on odd floor but not on topmost floor okay so where can banana live means odd floor so what are odd numbers one three five seven is the topmost floor so you can ignore why because here it has given not on topmost floor then P lives immediately below the one whose rank is 38. So 38 immediately below P will be there. So we don't know whose rank is 38, but immediately below 38, the person P will be present. And his rank is a perfect square and refers to the first person P. So P's rank is perfect square as well as divisible by 5. So out of given marks, so if I write the marks 22, if I write in ascending order 22, 25 then next will be 38 then next will be 57 then next will be 60 next will be 64 and last one will be 81 if i write in ascending order from small to big so p's rank is perfect square so we know that there are two perfect three perfect squares 25 64 as well as 81 but here he is saying it is divisible by 5 also. So there is only one such number which is divisible by 5 as well as perfect square. So that number is 25. So P's rank is 25. Simple. R lives on odd floor. Okay, fine. So R is also living on odd floor. So what are odd floors? 1, 3, 5 as well as 7. Okay. And his rank is a perfect square. So already 25 is finished. So remaining two perfect squares are 64. 81 so r can score any of these two perfect squares then q's rank is 3 less than m's rank okay so that means q equals to m minus 3 simple q's rank is 3 less than m m's marks so out of the given data 
3 less than 22, 25, the difference is 3, but you cannot take 25. Why? Because P's rank is 25, Q and M's rank cannot be 25. So if I go with respect to the remaining marks, 57, 60. So this is valid. 57, 60, the difference is 3. Okay. So 57, if I take it as Q, M will be 60. Provided Q is, Q's marks are, or Q's rank is 3 less than M's mark. Right. Then let's continue. S lives on fourth floor, right? S lives on fourth floor. Direct statement, you can fill that in the data. Okay. So S lives on fourth floor and his rank key is the second lowest even number among all ranks. So among all ranks, what is the second most, second lowest even number means? We can say 38. Why? Because 25 is odd number. So S rank is 38 and he likes apple. So this person is liking apple so below 38 there should be p below 38 there should be p and p rank is 25 already we know so you can ignore this so whatever the hints we are using we'll try to ignore then let's go with respect to the next question next data q lives just above m so just above m q is living but he does not live on second floor means but refers to the first person q so Q does not live on second floor. So Q is not living on second floor. So let's put here. Q does not live on second floor. Okay, let's see. N does not like pomegranate. Okay, so N does not like pomegranate. Negative statement by using possibility cases we can eliminate. O lives on odd floor above fourth floor. So above fourth floor, what are odd floor means? Five, seven. So O can live on fifth or O can live on seventh. Okay. O lives on odd floor above fourth floor and his rank is perfect square as well as perfect cube. So perfect square as well as perfect cube means you can take 64 or 81 means we can say take 64. Why? Because 64 is eight square as well as four cube. So 64 is finished. 38 is also finished. Okay, so O, we can't say it can be 5th or 6th, right? Let's see. M does not live on even floor but likes orange. So, M does not like orange. Uh, M likes orange. Alright. Then, M does not live on even floor. Means M will be living on odd floor. So, what are odd floors? 1, 3, 5. So, above M, there should be Q. That's what the data say. Okay. Then, let's see. Where you can put M, M, Q, no chance. M, Q, here you can put M, Q, here also you can put, right, let's see. Let's go for the next points. The one who lives just above N likes peach. Just above N. Just above N, the person will be liking peach. Just above N, the person will be liking peach. We don't know where N is present. The one who likes mango lives on either 7th or 1st floor. Either or means any one. So, here it can be mango or 1st floor can be mango. So, based on the given hints, my puzzle is just finished as half. Now, let's go with respect to the remaining half based on the other things which we have got. Okay. So, we know that R should live on odd floor. 1, 3, 5, 7. So, R score can be 64 or 81. Already, 64 is finished with respect to O. That means, R's rank will be obviously 81. Okay. So, where we can put R? Just to see. So, R we can put in first floor. R you cannot put in third. Okay. Then, R you cannot put in fifth. R can be put in fifth or seventh. Okay. Let's see. Banana 135. Any other hints we have? M, Q. So, you can use these hints also. M, Q. You cannot put in this combination. Why? Because Q is not on second floor. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll do one thing. We will remove O from fifth floor and here we'll put M. So, above M there will be who? Q. Right. Now, R should live on odd floor. So, 7 is finished, 5 is finished, 3 is finished. So, for R you can fill with first floor. So, R. Okay, then if I see with respect to students, this parameter is almost finished. M, N is missing. So here you can put N. M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. So we have got seven people. 
Now let's go with respect to the remaining hints. N above there will be peach. N above there will be peach. And we know that M is liking orange. M is liking orange. Right? Then Q score is 57. And M score is 60. Simple. And R score is 81. We know that already. Okay? Then let's go with respect to the remaining hints. So if you see ranks, two are missing and fruits, two are missing. Okay, then already it is given banana should be in first or third or fifth. In first mango there is a chance. Why? Because mango first or seventh. Why? Because either or any one. We can't say. Okay, then three, three already peach is there, no chance. Five already orange is there. Means there is only one place to place banana which is first floor by fixing mango in seventh floor so just to remove mango from first floor and put mango in seventh floor and in first floor you can fill with the fruit called banana simple and we already know that o score is 64 so o score is 64 o's rank now one rank is missing so what is that rank 22 so for n you can give score called 22 or rank called 22 now if you look at the fruits, we have got 5 fruits, 2 fruits are missing. Okay. So already we know that what are the fruits missing? Apple, we have got mango, we have got orange, we have got goa is missing, pomegranate is missing. So these two are missing. So from the information we came to know that N does not like pomegranate. If not pomegranate, for N we will give goa and for Q we will give pomegranate. Okay. So in this manner we can fill the respective puzzle based on these kinds of information okay so i hope this particular question is clear for you right then next let me take you to the other question okay so next question we have brought question from blood relations okay so look at this particular question So see, there are seven persons, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V in a family, which has three generations, okay. Both the parents are alive for every child, okay. Then what he has given in the other information, R is unmarried and only daughter of P, who has more than two children. V is grandson of Q, who is married to P. U is sister-in-law of S. Q is not father of T. So this is what the information we have got along with the statement. So from the information, it is given that there are seven persons and there should be three generations and both the parents should be alive. Both the parents means nothing but here a father as well as mother. Okay. Now let's go with respect to the first hint. So what he has given, R is unmarried and only daughter of P. So P P's only daughter will be R. Okay, so P's only daughter is R. And she is unmarried. Okay, fine. P, who has more than two children? So who has more than two children? P has more than two children. More than two means it can be three or four. Doesn't matter. Okay, so out of those, one person is R. Remember that. V is grandson of Q who is married to p so who is married to p q is married to p so q is married to p v is grandson grandson means two generations okay so two generations v then u is sister-in-law of s so u is sister-in-law of s right so u sister-in-law of s Okay, sister-in-law means nothing but brother's wife is called sister-in-law. So S, S should have a brother and that brother's wife will be who? You, sister-in-law, the gender of you will be female. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, here one person will be coming, 5, 6, 7, simple, satisfying. We can say these three belong to same generation and who is the person missing? P, Q, R, S. T is missing. So here you can give the person called T and the gender of T will be male. So already it is given R is only daughter. Means there is only one daughter. 
if there will be any other children there will be sons so that means the generation the gender of s will be male provided these three are children of p and q so who are those three s r t so as t and u are married couple t and u's son will be v right now go for the last point q is not father of t if not father so q will be mother and p will be father of t okay so that's how this particular kinds of questions can be dealt with respect to the concept of blood relations which are useful for our prelims kinds of examinations okay so next let's go with respect to the other question based on syllabus let's see so look at this particular question so what he has given so see some copies book some copies book then all book are pen all book are pen no pen is pencil no pen is pencil then some pencil are eraser some pencil are eraser okay now look at question conclusion number 1 some erasers may be pen okay erasers pen some connection may be means nothing but possibility case this eraser i can draw towards pen also so that means first conclusion will be true simple then some book may be pencil so pencil cannot cross the boundary of pen why because there is no relation between pen and pencil so this pencil cannot come and form connection with respect to book so this one will be false then all copy are definitely pen so some copy are pen we can say but all copy are pen we can't say okay so what is my answer for this particular question means we can say only one follows simple right then let's go with respect to the next question question number 2 so look at this particular question no pond is ocean no pond is ocean some ocean is river some river is sea then all sea are lakes now look at first conclusion some ocean is lake ocean lake we don't have any connection between ocean and lake so first one you can make it as false simple then all river are pond is a possibility so river pond all river are pond is that possible means no why because pond and ocean there is no relation so this one also treat it as false now look at third some lakes may be pond so you can take lakes to words pond no problem at all so third one will be true why because it is a case of possibility so what is our answer for this particular set means we can say only three follows right then let's go for the next question so what does the next question say all hand are leg all hand are leg no leg is nose some nose is eye no eye is ear okay so look at first conclusion all nose are ear is a possibility so all nose are ear we cannot say okay so this conclusion will be false some eye may be leg so these eyes we can bring towards leg so this one will be true then look at the third one some hand is nose some hand is nose we cannot say so this one will be false so our answer is only two follows okay so in this particular perspective we can do these kinds of questions in easy as well as effective manner okay so thank you everyone keep visiting our channel thank you thank you everyone